Testing. Testing one, two. Jack o' lantern. <laughs> Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. You having a prime it? Oh, it's already prime. Yeah, I'm sure it is. You good to go? What's up, Bella? Hi. How are you? Yeah, how are you? What's up, Bea? What's up, Mason? How you doing, Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm excited to see this thing run. Man, these onions look rough. Yeah. I guess I put it on the field and now it's back here flushing it. Next thing I know, the well, water's shooting out the top, so it's still in front of the green tape. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, these onions don't look too good. Oh boy. See, I don't understand. You see the little onions? They should be a lot bigger by now. It's just like they're not growing. Right. So remind us, Aries, what are we looking at? These are the direct seeds? Yeah. So. I don't know if you, let's see, back in uh, October, October the, let's see, gosh, I'm trying to get all my dates right with the storm and everything. We, we direct seeded these right before the big rain that came, the 10 inches of rain that we had. Right, this is with after all the Helene. Yep, the year after the Helene and before the, the flood, basically. And <clears throat> I don't know if the flood affected the stand and the onions because you can't see any of the onions uh, as far as you know they should be they should be tall by now yeah. and uh, there's some onions there you can see right here the onions that are there uh, looks more like a weed patch than it does onions so yeah. but the main reason that I that I planted this was uh, actually for what, what you're about to see with this new machine, the sprayer. I know that we looked at the sprayer before. We did. Uh, but uh, today we're actually running it. We've been testing it, practicing with it, getting a little bit more comfortable with it. And uh, so now we are getting ready to uh, to use it. I think he's trying to call me and my phone's in the truck. You need me to hold this? So. I also, uh, Ellie hasn't seen the machine. This is Ellie, my oldest daughter. Yes. And uh, I told her that we got a new piece of equipment that would be cool for her to come look at. And she didn't have school today. She stuck with me anyway. So <laughs> she wanted to come see the machine slash had to come see the machine. So, but I think she'll like it once she sees it. I gotta get out of the way. So what this machine, I'll explain it as uh, Mason gets ready. I know that we talked about it before, but so if you pan down and look at the the seed, the the bed where the where the transplant or the the seed is, yep. you'll see every individual weed that's here. Yeah. Well, the idea of this machine, it uses AI technology, and it sees that weed and it sprays it, and it only sprays the weed, and it identifies between the weed and the crop, if the crop is large enough. So because of the weed control here, you're gonna, or because of the weeds, you're gonna see a lot of the stuff's gonna be sprayed. But you can tell right here, see how the weed's wet? Look at that, yeah. That one's wet. And uh, he go, Ellie, step right here, baby. And then that one's wet. So if you notice, <clears throat> where there's, sorry, baby, sorry. Where there's not weeds, like right here, it's dry. Yeah. So the idea is to. So uh, it's not blanket spraying them. It's. That's correct. It's just spraying the weed. Targeted spraying. Yep, yep. So, so you know, the idea is uh, just trying to save on product. Also trying to avoid uh, being detrimental to the to the biology um, as yeah. a total, as a whole. Yeah. So 
that's the whole idea. Now, some of these weeds are a little too big for, for this product that we're putting on them. Yeah. So we're probably not gonna affect it much. Some of the smaller weeds we, we may do something with. We are behind on spraying this and the only reason was because I had to let the onions get large enough that I could spray it. And if some of this product gets on them, it won't kill the onion. Yeah. Um, because, you know, it, it's, it causes a... Uh, How fast does the tractor drive? What so at right now, he's running probably four miles an hour. Wow. Uh, that's another good thing about it is that you're actually able to go pretty fast. There's a there's another machine that we tried. It was the rope. It was the laser machine, yep. which I loved it. Um, it was it's, it's expensive, um, but it does a great job. It basically sees these weeds as soon as they emerge, uh, and it zaps them with a beam with a laser beam. Yeah. And um, it will. I mean, it does a fantastic job fantastic job but you know for the money and for what we were trying to do uh this was a good this is a good first step for me yeah. um you know with our acreage and that kind of stuff is it's uh it's a good first step so what we're looking at here this is the direct seed are those over here the transplants yes uh-huh yep these are transplants so let's walk here and you can see the difference yeah so <clears throat> growth in these oh my gosh yeah. yeah so the we we transplanted these uh oh goodness it would have been maybe november the 25th yeah so these onions here are about 30 days transplanted after those over there were seeded if that makes sense yeah and these are the but now seeds. these onions were also seeded in september <clears throat> And as you can see, the weed that we came through with the machine yeah. uh, almost 10 days ago and zapped just the weed. And the idea of this machine is to try not to spray the onions with it yeah. uh, to help prevent any type of damage that the onions may, may get. So uh, we still have some damage, um, which that's, I mean, that's just gonna happen. But, you know, that was the concept. I was, I'm really impressed though that we were able to kill the, the weeds that I was targeting because this whole area, these, these three beds right here were really uh, bad. So they look, they look pretty much like this bed right here looks, Crazy, yeah. except they were a lot smaller at the time. Yeah. So, so the Eco Robotics same machine went over these went beds Went over as these, well. yes, that's correct. Fascinating. And so again, it's about, uh, you know, not trying to just spray everything and use it all on every, on the whole entire piece of property. Yeah. So mathematically, uh, when I sprayed this section and I, I sprayed about, I think it was 10 acres on this side the other day, uh, I used, um, I saved 65% of product Wow. So I was able to, to carry more land. So, uh, you know, it doesn't mean much. It probably equated to maybe a hundred dollars savings, hundred and fifty dollars worth of savings. Yeah. But uh, that's you know, money saved is money earned. And then also um, and the impact you mentioned that to the biology. Yeah, the biology yeah. of the soil. That yeah. that that's right. You'll so, notice that in a couple of years. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's right. Just start compounding. Mm -hmm. And so that's the other thing that we're doing. We're we're continuously uh, soil sampling and uh, testing the soil to make sure <clears throat> that we're basically tracking the life in the soil to see what our impacts are. Yeah. Um, you know, we're fertilizing. Our soils in, in Georgia require fertilizer because of the sandy, yep. um, because of them being sandy. So we have to fertilize. And uh, so we're tracking that. We're trying to see what, uh, what the biology is doing every time we put it, because fertilizer is a salt, yeah. and and the biology is no different than us. If we cut our finger, and we put salt on our finger, it burns, mm -hmm. and so it's the same thing for them, huh. believe it or not. So that's what uh what I've really kind of focused my my attention to is is how can I make that soil healthier? 
healthy soil should make healthy pro a healthy crop. Yeah. And uh, if it's a healthy crop, then we eat it and consume it, then we'll be uh, healthier. So. Yeah.